All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Con Carolina's Television. I'm Bronner, and I'm here with the intro to this week's episode. Um, this week's episode is brought to you by the Comic Monsters Game Realm. And um, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we shot um, and recorded this um, this playthrough of a game called Huntmaster, which is created by Ray Franks. And um, it was filmed at the Comic Monsters Game Realm, which Frank uh, Ray owns. And um, we had a really good time doing it. And I hope you guys really enjoy what you're going to see. Um, he's going to talk a little bit about the game and the process to bring it to market and all the ins and outs of a Kickstarter and importing a game like this. And um, April Baker, co-host, and I are um, going to go along for the ride. Um, and although this is pre-recorded, we will be live in the chat to answer any questions you guys have and uh, just to you know, get to know you a little better. So without further ado, um, we're going to bring you Huntmaster, created by... Salisbury, North Carolina. We are in the game realm today to play some games and talk about Con Carolinas and the process of creating a tabletop game. Um, I'm here with a part of the staff of Con Carolinas. We've got April and we've got Chris. Tell us about yourselves. I am April Baker. I'm one of the staff members at Con Carolina and I am one of the co-hosts of CCTV. And I'm looking forward to learning about what it is to create a game and play some games and bring you some good content over the next coming weeks leading up to our fantastic con that happens at the beginning of June. All right, and I'm Chris Bronner. I'm also a co-host and a uh, proud member of the board at Con Carolinas. And we will bring you amazing content throughout the year. And uh, right now we're going to start with um, one of... Uh, Ray's endeavors, which is Huntmaster. Huntmaster. The game of your dreams and your nightmares. Um, <laughs> actually, this is a fun little thing that we put together. Uh, my family worked on this. Um, started, we got together around uh, 2017 at the end of a convention, sitting around bored. I was sitting there with my um, my son, who was about 10 years old at the time, and we were like, you know, we should come up with our own game. Uh, and so I sat there with my son, and we tossed around some ideas, and that spark of imagination and idea eventually led to this. Um, and uh, it's a monster hunting game. The idea is you want to be the first player to find five of your monsters that match uh, either a cryptid, a humanoid, a paranormal monster, or, or an undead monster. And they get, and they're hiding at the different locations here. Um, I'll tell you more about how the gameplay works in just a moment. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, April is going to be playing the uh, undead. Uh, so she's trying to find these five monsters to win the game. I'm going to be the paranormal hunter. These are the monsters I'm trying to find. Chris is playing the cryptids, so he's trying to find these guys. Uh, this game can play four players, but we only have three players today, so. There is not going to be a player looking for the humanoid monsters, but the human humanoid monsters will still be hiding at the locations. Why, why are we going to keep those in the game? Because the game text is fun, and um, we have to get to a point where all the... All the locations are pretty much cleared, uh, so they kind of, in, in playtesting the game, we did a lot of playtesting. It worked out best to just do it this way, um, so. Not to mention that the text that's on each one of the cards just adds a new dynamic to the game and is just fun. Yep. So there are 20 monsters that are getting shuffled in with a deck of action cards. All of these just have text on them that tell you to do something. Um, so, we 
We shuffle all of these up, and this will be a total of maybe 50 or 60 cards. I can't remember at this point exactly how many are here. Um, but we shuffle them all up, and we deal them out randomly at the locations. And we really hope that the creature cards come more towards the top than the bottom, mm -hmm. so the game doesn't go on for hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the gameplay in this is usually somewhere between 30 minutes to an hour. Um, just depends on how the cards come up and Usually, how... Usually, but we are an unusual bunch. All right, this is true. This is true. All right, talk to me a little bit about um, the artwork as you deal them out there. So after we play tested the game plenty of times and got the mechanics of the game down, um, we then needed an artist to make the game look spectacular. And so um, I contacted a buddy of mine uh, who goes by the name Elf. He used to be a tattoo artist in Charlotte, North Carolina for a long time, but he moved out to California a few years ago. And uh, we sat down, met for dinner one night at a restaurant, played the game, and fortunately he liked the game and took a gamble of trying to help me put it all together. And uh, yeah, it paid off. We ended up uh, getting it all together, sending it off to uh, get printed, uh, well, first we did the Kickstarter campaign, and that's what brought in the money to actually have enough money to get it printed. And then we went through the whole process of uh, finding a printing company in China because that's the cheapest way to do it. Uh, and and uh, eventually got it shipped over here, but that was that was a story within itself. I, I do have to say that the the artwork in this game is spectacular. Thank you. Well, thanks. It's an elf. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we've got the game set up now. Uh, there are a total of six to seven cards randomly dealt out beside each location. Um, so now we need to find a starting location. Um, I'm just going to start Cthulhu there in the well. I'm going to start in the swamp. And I'm going to start in the woods where now, Ray, Sasquatch Now, are be. these the characters that come with the game, or are these something else you choose to use? I choose to use these. These are called Cryptkins. They're just a lot of fun, and they fit the game thematically. Um, when you buy the game, it just comes with more generic-looking tokens. Um, these but you can, guys. Yeah, yeah, those are like little meeples. Yeah, but you, know, you can do whatever you want. If you want to play with G.I. Joe figures or Transformers, well, plop Optimus Prime down and let him start hunting for monsters. It's whatever you want to do. Sounds um, good. All right. How do you determine who goes first? Uh, the player that most recently ate garlic. Ate garlic or saw Sasquatch? Okay, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Yeah. We can do that. Um, uh, have you ever seen a Sasquatch? No. Uh, what about you? <laughs> well, this Am Chris... I, are we going to be polite about this? <laughs> <laughs> All right, just looking at Chris Cowan. Hey. Hey. I was going there. <laughs> What big feet you have. Foot. Yeah. <laughs> Foot. They make fun of the one-legged guy. <laughs> we'll, we'll let the, uh, the one-legged Sasquatch go first. The person who resembles Sasquatch go first. Yes. Chris, that would be you. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Fine. I'll go first. All right. So in this game, there's two <laughs> actions that you must do during your turn. You must move and you must hunt. Uh, the definition of move... Well, you can do it in either order. If you want to, you know, hunt, move, move, hunt, as long as you do both, you're cool. Um, so, uh, the definition of move is moving your character one location adjacently. So, Chris could go to the graveyard, Chris could go to the well, Chris could go to the manor. You cannot move diagonally. Uh, the definition of hunt means, are you going to hunt at the Yeah, woods? I'm going to hunt at the woods. All right, well, Chris is going to take that top card, secretly look at it. We don't get to know what it is. And Chris is going to try to make a decision on what he wants to do with that card. If it happens to be one of his cryptid monsters, well, he wants to put it down in front of him because that's how he wins the game, if he finds his five monsters before we do. I'm going to take that card and bury it on the bottom. Okay, so that might mean that it could be one of our monsters, which means we may want to get over there and start digging for it. Um, or... Chris might have just bluffed us because he could have just tucked one of the action cards on the bottom. Yeah. And we've played this game enough to know that Chris likes to bluff. Thank you. And I'll make my move yep. to the manor. All right. So that's Chris's turn. turn. Sounds good. 
I'll start by digging in the well. Hunt. <clears throat> so I either picked up a monster card or an action card. Either way, uh, if it's my paranormal monster, I'm going to put it in front of me. But it's not. Uh, so it's either somebody else's monster or it's an action card. I can reveal it, read the game text, and do what it says. Or I can just tuck it on the bottom. So that's what I'm doing. Wow. Uh, then I'll move to the cabin and the table's turn. All right, I'm going to hunt at the swamp. Sounds about right. Okay. This is good. It's an action card. It tells me to look at all the cards at the well and return them in any order. So I'm going to reshuffle the deck. Powerful card. Yes. Oh, and seeing that Ray just looked at the well and slid the card back at the bottom, I now know what he just slid back here. That's true. And I now know, oh, okay, this is very good. And then after April uses her card, it goes to the Beyond. discard pile, which we call the Beyond. All right, she's doing some devious things oh, over there. Yeah. Oh, yes, I am. It makes me think there's some good stuff there. Right? It's only been 17 minutes since she picked up the stack. Okay, and now I'm going to do my move, and I'm going to go visit the little buck. Oh, yeah, she's making her way to the well. Yeah. Your turn. I uh, can't get to the well and hunt, so um, I will hunt where I'm at, and that's the manor. And the manner in which I hunt is this. Um, <laughs> anyway, I can look at all the cards at the park and then return them in any order. So oh. ooh, that sounds like um, something that this one just did. Oh, right away, sauciness mm. comes up. So one of them mine? Um, yeah, you shuffled. <laughs> Um, okay. I'd like them to be in this order, please. And then I will move to the woods. And pass turn. Alrighty. Uh, I'm going to go to the well and I'm going to hunt. Because I think there's some interesting things there. <clears throat> Part of this game not only is know strategies also memory a little bit of memory a little bit of a bluff game um, a little bit of a hostile environment situation <laughs> yes. all right so i hunted there and i found this card that says as a free action move to the woods and hunt so i get to hunt twice on my turn that's very good um i am going to tuck this card on the bottom and I am done. Now, Chris had just shuffled this. And knowing that I'm still here, I know there's no way he would have put one of my cards where I could have immediately hunted. So I'm going to move to the mountain and I'm going to hunt. Unless he used reverse psychology right. on you. And then it worked. That was precisely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. So I'm going to take this card. This is a monster card for the humanoid. I'm going to do its action, where it says to exchange the top card of your location to the top card at another location. Okay. So it's this top card then. Correct. Right. And I'm going to exchange it. For the, you can't look at it. Wait. I'm not. I'm going to take it for the top card at this hour. And then I get to take this one or just... Nope. Just, nope. You're just, just moving them around. Okay. And then... And then since that player's not in the game, game that just gets discarded. It gets exhausted. I'm exhausted. Did you move yet? I did. I moved from the park to the mountain. Okay. And did my hunt. My turn is done. All right. And that's what gets a yellow card out of the way. I am going to take my little critter, and I'm going to move to the well. Actually, I'm going to stay here and hunt. And then I'm taking that card, and I'm sticking it way on the bottom there. 
and then I'm going to take my little Sasquatch and move. Oh yeah? Well, I'm going to take my little Cthulhu and move, and I'm going to hunt at the well. <laughs> All right. What I'm... did you call them? That's Cthulhu. Oh, I thought you said Cuckaloo, and I'm like, what? Oh. All right. All right. Uh, so I'm going to play this card. It says, move any player to the tower. That player may peek at the top card of the tower. Uh, so it says any player, I could choose myself or one of these two, but um, I'm going to choose myself this time. And I get to peek here. Can't do anything with it, but I know what's coming up. The other thing, this is the first time we've come across a card that's got a little Sasquatch footprint at the bottom of it. That means whenever I use one of those cards, I get one of these track markers, which is going to help me do some uh, special abilities later on in the game. I have to have three of them to do, do uh, one Super of the power. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, April, you're up. Okay. I'm going to hunt again because this was the card I switched out from the tower. <laughs> okay. Look at all the cards at the woods and reorder them. Oh, right. I had such a bad habit. Normally we play across from each other. Yeah. I've been and, trying my best to keep my eyes averted when you grab a card. Because I'm honest like that. Good. I I, I, I apparently fell at that. <laughs> <laughs> Just say what you got there, April. <laughs> right. It is tempting, but, you know. I think it's a bit of a habit, too. Yeah. You know, in other games, you just kind of... Well, when we're across from each other too, you can kind of you want to kind of read your opponents because you know poker face, poker face. Okay. If they're bluffing, you kind of. And then I'm gonna move can pick to the little party at the tower, and then this goes into the beyond. Yes. Thank you, and that is back to you, Chris. All right. Um, if I would go to the park there. Um, Let me get it for you. Yeah, and hunt. How, can you play this with just two players? You can. It works with two, three, or four players. Well, could you do this with two teams of two? Sure. Uh, yeah. Right. We've done Where's that the graveyard? I am going to reveal the top card of the graveyard to everybody. Everybody see that? As a free action, move to the tower and hunt. All right. Now I'm going to take that card and I'm going to shove it on the bottom. Oh, okay. Because that's power. That's power. Knowledge is power. And um, pass turn. All right. Did you move? Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, I moved. Park. That's good. Uh, I want to keep digging at the well because I remember there was something fishy going on there. Uh, sure, I'll play it. Um, move any player to the woods. That player may peek at the top card at the woods. I'm going to choose myself. Uh, I'm going to get another squatch print. This gets discarded. Let's peek at this. And I still have a move action. Yep. Right. Hmm. I think I'm going to go back to the well because I still think there's something there that might interest me. There's a song in that. I'm going back to the <laughs> well. Or... Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hunt at the tower. Tower. Do that again. He's a cheating yeah, yeah. little guy. Make sure, make sure I don't reveal the top card at the woods to all the players, and then you may put it at the bottom. Okay. So flip the top card for me, please. The woods? woods. Yes. Yeah. You can put that at the bottom. Okay. I'll take a little footy print. Okay, and can you just move me to the graveyard, please? Thank you very much. Yes, ma'am. All right, I'm going to hunt at the park. Uh, uh, and he's on the board. I'm on the board with my chupacabra. He found the gnarly, snarly chupacabra. What's his special gift? He, as a free action, you can hunt at an adjacent location. So this is a once-per-game ability that can only be used during his turn. Um, if you play magic, that's called sorcery speed. Every... Everything in this game is sorcery speed, so it can only be done during your turn. Um, so this is a once-per-game ability that he may want to save and use later in the game when it might be a little more advantageous to him. Um, or you can use it right now if you want. 
I'm good. Okay. I will move to the swamp. The swamp. Thank you, past turn. I'm going to continue digging in the well. Pretty soon he's going to water. I'm beginning to think you guys are playing with me. Uh, mm -hmm. Reveal the top card of the manor. I can choose to move it to the bottom. Um, I'm just going to leave it on top. Uh, since I played this card, I get yet another swatch. Oh, Hoarding the feet again. I know. Hoarding the feet again. <laughs> All right, so now that I have three Sasquatch prints, um, I could, anytime I want to, during my turn, cash them in to use one of these special abilities. Um, I have the option to either to move any player to any location. That can be powerful if I want to get somewhere quick or if I want to keep somebody away from winning the game or such. Um, another thing I could do is copy the ability of any visible monster, like, like Chris's monster here has pretty good ability. I could use it if I wanted to, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till later in the game where it might be more helpful to me. And then the last thing that uh, the Squatch Prince can do is shuffle three cards from the beyond or the discard pile into a hunt deck at any location. Uh, that can be more powerful near the end of the game whenever if I know that April's got one card left here and she knows that it's her monster that she's looking for. Well, I can take three of these and shuffle them in and make it a little tougher for her. Um, so that's what that does. So, Yo. I have moved, I have hunted, and it's April's turn. Okay, I'm going to hunt at the graveyard. Hunt at the hunt graveyard. Hunt at the graveyard. Yes, please, thank you. She's hunting. <laughs> Look at all the cards at Mount Morn and return them in any order. All right. <laughs> Done returning. Okay. Yep, and then I'm gonna move to the woods, please. Move into the woods. Okay, and that's my turn. All right, I'm gonna hunt swamp. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna take one of these bad boys. So if Huntmaster looks like a game that would interest you, uh, it is sold exclusively excu exclusively at the Comic Mon Store or on the Comic Mon Store's website, comicmonstore.com, or on eBay. Um, we will also have it at Con Carolinas. Um, since we're the gaming coordinator at Con Carolinas, we might as well bring it along, right? I put that at the bottom. And I'll move to the cabin. Thank you so much. Pass turn. <laughs> I still want to know what's here. And it paid off. Took a little digging, but I finally found the fearsome phantasm. So this guy has the ability of move the top card of any location to the top card of another location. The abilities on the paranormal guys, you know, will often kind of move things around. Um, this is good for me to hang on to and use later. I'm going to move over to the park, and it's April's turn. Okay. I'm going to match you guys. going to move to the manor and hunt. Must be a lot of words on that card. <laughs> right. Move any player to the park and they may peek at the top. So move myself, I'm going to peek, and I'm going to get a full turn. Okay. And Chris, back to you. I think there's some poetic justice here that you guys are the only one with feet, and I'm actually missing a foot. <laughs> so, yeah, fun. I'm going to hunt where I'm at. Not getting bitter. <laughs> As a free action, I can move to the cabin and hunt. <laughs> so I'm you just going, get to hunt I'm going again? to take that free action and hunt again. Mm -hmm. Now, Con Carolinas is June. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Yes, first weekend in June. June. First weekend in June. I can move any player to the cabin, <laughs> um, and that player may peek at the top <laughs> card. So that would be me. I'm going to, like. Oh, well, you get a foot. And I get a foot, yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All right. <laughs> Let me I'm not hook you up. That. Okay. And then I moved, right? 
right, so I pass turn. All right. So I know early in the game this stack got rearranged and a lot of things were moved to the bottom. I just found out that one of my guys was near the bottom. But there's two more cards there. Um, and I want to know what this is because I'm banking it's somebody's monster. <laughs> Look at there. Looky there. Looky there. Yeah. Uh, pass. All right. I'm going to... Uh, hunt at the park. Reveal the top part of the swamp. You may move it to the bottom. Oh. Um, I'm revealing the top card. That would be mine. And I am going to move it to the bottom. <laughs> I also get a another footprint. There you go. To the beyond. And I'm going to move to the well. How fun. And then Chris, it's back to you. All right. I'm moving to the well. <laughs> and I'm hunting. Yeah, I bet that's a good move. Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> -na -na -na! Yeah, you found the Yeti. Because you knew that was there. This isn't just any Yeti. This guy's name is Are We There Yeti. <laughs> but I'm done. Holy bun. <laughs> All right, so this guy will let you shuffle together all cards from two locations and distribute them evenly to the same locations, or as evenly as possible to the same locations. Cool. Yeah, that's a good ability. That's a good ability. You <laughs> seem to be having a little bit of a party here. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what's going on in that well. <laughs> it's like a monster of a good time. <laughs> uh, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> Alright, so uh, you'll notice that now we've uh, used up all the cards that were here. And so this is where the beyond comes in. Uh, anytime you would hunt at a location where there's no cards, you play the top card of the beyond. Uh, and then after you do that, that card will go to the bottom of the beyond. So that's a way to make some use of the discard pile. Um, but it's time to move on. Where does Cthulhu want to go? feel like there's things to be discovered in the tower. Uh, I'm going to play this card. It says, look at all the cards in the swamp, and then return them in any order. So I think this is the first time I've gotten one of those cards today. Mm -hmm. And it works out to your benefit. Oh, that's right. Look what's on the bottom. The card that I put at the bottom because we know it's yours. All right. See? Memory. All right. All right. How can I, what can I do here? I got a plan. I got I got a good plan. Let's see. Wait a minute. Not looking good for April here. Ah, oh, check this out. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Okay, it's reordered. So now I am going to read my cards. Even though he created them. <laughs> Here comes a combo. I can sense it. All right. It. Oh, yes. yeah. We're in trouble. Uh, the Fearsome Phantasm says, move the top card at any location to the top card at another location. So I'm going to go ahead and use that ability. Uh, I'm going to turn the card sideways to remind me that I've used it. So I am going to move this top card. Yes. The well? Uh, or the tower? The, the, the well would work, but I'm actually going to choose a graveyard. Ah. Uh. You know why? Because you'll move there on your next turn and take it in none unless you're close enough there to get it. Nope, because I'm going to cash in three footprints right. to use Please. this uh, ability. Pull from an adjacent. Uh, yeah. Which the well would have also worked. True. All right, so I'm using Chris's ability here to hunt at, another lo at an adjacent. adjacent location. I'm going to hunt here. So the well would have worked also. The well would have worked. Or the Mount Morn would have worked right. too. Uh, all right. Uh -huh. It's a half hour turn for Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to the cabin. I'm going to hunt. Reveal the top card at Mount Morn to all the players. You may move it to the bottom. I'll take another footprint, please. The top card is uh, move to the manor and, um, and hunt. I'll okay. I'll leave it on top. Sounds good to me. 
And that's it. That's my move. <clears throat> nice and short. All right, I'm going to move to the park and hunt. Because that's just what I do. I do not recommend playing this with your significant others. Because it can get kind of brutal. You th think they would hook you up with, you know, putting your cards close to kind of... Sometimes it just leads to a night it, on the couch. It just is a night on the couch, yeah. What do you got, Chris? Um, I'm going to move that to the bottom of my stack. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Back. And then I will pass turn. All right. Uh, okay, I remember what's at Mount Morn, so I'm going to go here, play that. As a free action, move to the manor and hunt. So that will bounce me way over here to hunt again. Mm -hmm. Sure, I'll go ahead and play that. Um, gets me another Squatch Grant. And it says, reveal the top card of the cabin to all players. I may move it to the bottom if I want to. So. That card is on top. This one gets discarded, and I'm going to choose to leave that on top. What did it say? I'm sorry. Sure. Uh, it's a move any player to the swamp. That player may peek. At the top card, okay. Oh. All right, well, since I know what that card is and I don't really want it, I'm going to move to the manor and hunt. Okay. Um, move any player to the graveyard. The player may peek at the top card, and I get a footprint. So I'm going to move my self to the graveyard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. And I can, she only had two feet in the grave at that point. Now she's um, got five feet in the grave. And I can peek at the top card of the graveyard. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right, Chris, back to you. All right. Um... Well, shoot. I'm going to the swamp, and then I'm hunting. And then it says, move any player to the well, and I can take a peek at the card at the well. <laughs> we'll so, be, what happens now? Um, but I'm going to get my foot. Yeah, give some a squatch print or a track marker. Uh, are you choosing yourself, or do you want to send somebody else No, I'm going to well? choose... Uh, Graveyard Betty over there. Graveyard Betty? All right. That should be a song. Graveyard <laughs> Betty's in the well. Well played. Thank you. Wait, isn't he the one in the band with the graveyard name? I do things. He's an entrepreneur. <laughs> uh, my turn? Uh, yeah, past turn. All right. Uh, I will head on down to the woods, do a little snooping around, uh, and I will play this card. As a free action, move to the graveyard and hunt. So we'll move on down. We'll do a little meddling. Okay, this is good. Um, as a free action, move to Mount Morin and hunt. Comboing off here. Let's head on over here. Let's see what's this. Hmm. All right, I'm going to play this one too. Look at all the cards in the cabin and then return them in any order. Ooh. I'll put Chris's on the bottom. Mm -hmm. No, I'll put it. I'm going to put April's on the bottom. Yeah. No, no. I'll put Chris's on the bottom. Uh, this gets discarded, and I'm done. Yay. All right, we go to the tower. <laughs> Reveal the top card at the well, and you may move it to the bottom. Yeah. But I got another footprint. Yeah, well, at least that happens. At least that happens. So, yeah. um, what are my footprint options? Sure, you can move any player to any location. Okay. Uh, the one that might matter to you the most right now is you can copy the ability of any monster. Yeah, you that's see. what I'm thinking. Uh, so, Chris's gnarly snarly chupacabra can let you hunt at an adjacent okay. location. Uh, the Are We There Yeti can um, shuffle two decks together and okay. then redistribute them. 
What do you got? Uh, this guy can play the top card of the beyond. Yeah, all right. And then this guy's got some unique abilities, too. This is the inexplicable extraterrestrial. Shuffle all cards at any location, then peek at the top card. You may move it to the bottom. Okay. Can I use two at once? Yeah, you can once. do one, resolve it, and then, do okay. and then after you're done, you could cash so, those in, So, can it be the same card? Sure. Okay, so I'm going to pluck from, I'm going to take the Chupacabra. Okay. Take from the graveyard. All right. So you are hunting at the, the graveyard. graveyard. You could actually, that's a good ha, 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 ha. She did it. And then I'm going to take the Chupacabra again and hunt from Mount Moore. Okay. That's good. Yeah, I don't like that one. It goes to the bottom. And it was, what's wrong? What do I do? Oh, you're good. You're I'm good. done. I think I moved from the wall to the tower. Yeah, okay. Very good, very good. Your vampire is really good, too. Let's see. As a free action, hunt at the bottom of your location. Nice. Yeah, so while we're trying to keep your monsters away from you, put them at the bottom, I think. Yes. You can find them pretty good with them. Yes, that's that's a good one. So now they're not going to put mine at the bottom because they know I can get it. Okay, that's true. My turn? Yes, it I'm is. I'm hunting at this one. And then as a free action, I'm going to move to the swamp and hunt. You got it? Hey. Hey, now. As a free action, move to the park and hunt. And I'm going to use this ability, and I'm going to move uh, the Cthulhu to the cabin. Okay. And nice. since that was a humanoid monster, it gets discarded after use. Again, because that player is not in the game. And then... And did I move? Yes, I moved yes. from the swamp to the... I mean, from the swamp to the park, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, actually... It made me move the card, right? Because it made me move to the park and hunt, and then it made me move to... Right, the card yeah. moved you. So right, you so I have to do my move. Yeah. yeah. Right. I will move to Mount Morn. Nope, nope, nope. nope. You already hunted. That, right, you already hunted. Yes. Whoops. Whoops. All right, I'm at the cabin, so I'm going to go ahead and hunt here first. Good job. Uh, I like these cards. Uh, look at all the cards in a manner. Put them back in any order. Good cards. I uh, wish I would have gotten one. Do you want yours on top or on bottom? <laughs> Psychological. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're not hitting it. You're not hitting what you uh, want. That gets discarded. I will go to the swamp. I'm done. All right. I'm gonna pluck from the tower. Pluck. Pluck. From the <laughs> it's not pluck, master. Hunt I'm going to hunt from this hour. Right, you plucked real good. And then I'm going to move to the graveyard. Let me see Keep what on plucking. <laughs> What's the pluck? What? Peek at the bottom part of your location, you. you may move it to the top. Is that That's what Boogity Bones does? Yes. <laughs> What's the pluck? What does Boogity do? So if I wait to do this on my next turn, I can do that before I hunt. And then if I don't like it, I can hunt the next, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I didn't know that. I can do it. <laughs> oh, it's my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. Let me hunt at the, the Mount Morn, because I have a good feeling about Mount Morn right now. Good luck plucking. Chick-chong. Pluck it out. What? I really had a good feeling. And this is the uh, Devilish Dreadwing. And it, I can peek at the top card of any location, and then I may shuffle that pile. Okay, so this card that I just put down allows me to peek at the top, which I did, and now I will shuffle. Okay. Okay? So I'm going to shuffle these cards, and then I'm going to ask my neighbor, would you like to cut? Yes, because it's a good habit to allow your opponent to cut cards. I'm reshuffling them. I, just, I guess I, so. I, that's legal too. That's legal too. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, I don't know. It is. You can do that. It's I can cut as many times as I want. It's like a shuffle. Oh, it's kind of a gray area. <laughs> <laughs> but that's
let's go. All right. Okay, I will pass turn at this point. All right. Uh, I'm in the swamp. Uh, what do I want to do? I don't know. There's two cards there. I don't think I know what they are. Therefore, I'm going to leave them alone and go down here to pick up these other cards that I don't know anything about. Hmm. All right. So I did find one of the humanoid monsters. Uh, that player's not in the game, but I'm going to reveal it and use this ability. I can choose a player, and that player may not take a hunt action next turn. I'm going to choose Chris, because he's got three monsters, and neighbor only has two. You can move, but you cannot take a hunt action. Okay, so you've moved and hunted and done all you want to do? I'm done. Okay. I'm going to move to the woods. And then I'm going to use this guy. Uh-oh. And I'm going to take a peek at the bottom card. Okay. To see... you got to make things difficult for me. <laughs> bottom to card. To see if I want to move it to the top. I don't want to move it to the top. Okay. But I'm so going to hunt, hunt the top card. Reveal the top card of the tower to all the players. You may move it to the bottom and I get another foot. Um, that says... It's a reveal. So, um, I'm not going to move it to the bottom. I'll just leave it there. Okay. All right. And that goes into the beyond. And Chris, you may enjoy your moving, mm -hmm. but no hunting. I'll move to the park. And all right. Wait, hold on. I'm going to use this guy's action to hunt in an adjacent location. That's legal. And I'm going to yep. hunt Mount Warren. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Thank you. You look perplexed. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to use this. Huh. And I'm going to take this card from Mount Warren, and I'm going to take the cards from the woods. Huh. And I'm going to shuffle them together right. and then redistribute. As evenly as possible. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. I'm going to use your philosophy <laughs> on shuffling. Do you want to cut? <laughs> no, I'm good. Okay. Um, Just on how to go. All right. So, you know, woods, um, Mount Morn, woods. Oops. Woods, Mount Morn, Woods. Okay. okay. So that goes over to the Mount Morn. So two cards at Mount Morn. Three cards at the Woods. All right. That's still pretty good odds. Pretty good odds for somebody. Did you move? I moved. That's about the only thing yeah, I was able to do besides <laughs> use my superpowers. All right. Now you've got me really curious. I'm going to move down here. I'm going to go ahead and use... The inexplicable extraterrestrial's ability to shuffle all the cards at a location. <laughs> Would you like to cut? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. And then the second half is then I can peek at the top card. Then it says if I would like, I can move it to the bottom. Um, I will move it to the bottom. So you pretty much got to see the whole... Well, I moved. I used my ability. Um, I don't know what this is yet, but I haven't taken a hunt action yet. Yeah. So I'm going to, because I really want to know. Oh, man. Uh, I, don't, I don't need that either. Okay, I'm done. Okay. I'm going to hunt at the woods. You need help? Yes, please. Uh, because sea serpents have no arms. <laughs> um, I'm going to tuck this at the bottom. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to move to the manor. And as my free action of the vampire, I'm going to hunt the bottom of the location. All right. There you go. <laughs> Look at all the cards in the tower and turn them in any order. Okay. <laughs> you want some milk? <laughs> you know, I need a T-Rex figure. <laughs> it's usually easier. 
Um, it's going to go into the beyond. Did you yeah. rearrange those? Yeah, all two of them. <laughs> you didn't ask us if you wanted to cut them. Uh, right? I didn't change their order. Gosh. <laughs> Technically, she didn't shuffle. <laughs> she, I know. All right, Chris, uh, come on. All right, give me a hunt. at uh, First move to Mount Morn and hunt. Dang it. All right, I got the Sasquatch, which is the best of all. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to be able to see that, which is the best of all. And I can choose a player, and um, he may not use a move action the next turn. So um, since Ray didn't want that card he put on the bottom, I will pick Ray. <laughs> so I can't move. All you can only do is that thing. Yeah. Or you're stuck with that card. I'm going to hunt. I already know what it is. I'm going to put it back on the bottom. I'm done. All right, then. I'm going to do the cabinet and hunt. Because Cause that's what you do. As a free option, move to the well and hunt. Not, right. not so well played. I guess I'm done. Um, I'll go to the tower, because I'm too Rexy. <laughs> the sinister laugh. Wow. I can move any player yeah, to the manor. I thought you were about to win. That's a lie. <laughs> R, R, am I psyching you Oh, out? let's do this. Move myself to the manor, and then I can take a peek at the card at the top. Which is also at the bottom. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> All right. Wait, hold on a second. Um, I'm going to spend my three dudes. Hmm. And then I'm going to reset the action of my... Um, Chupacabra. Wait, how? Not reset it, but I'm going to use the action. Oh, copy. My, copy my ability. And I'm going to hunt at a location close and next to me. Okay? Yes. Adjacent. Adjacent was the word I was looking for. Yep. And I will hunt it. And I will take this card and I will shove it way at the bottom. <sighs> Man. And then I will call uh, pest turn. All right. I'm going to head over to the tower and see what this is. I will sigh heavily, <laughs> and I will return it. Pass turn. <sighs> hey, the heavy sigh is my signature move. <laughs> My ear, thank okay. you. All right. My Chris, turn already? Back to you. Okay. Um, I'm not getting that card because I know what it is. Hmm. And I'm moving here and I'm hunting. I'm going to move any player to the swamp. Get a foot. Hang Go on. to the swamp. You. Me. And I'm going to take a peek. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to move on over to the graveyard. Hunt. <sighs> Plop it back on the bottom, and I'm done. All right. Why not? Let's go to the manor hunt here. So I know you... You, you didn't want that card. That card? I'm going to move any player to okay. Mount Morn, and they may peek at the top card, and I get a footprint. Okay. Moving me? I'm going to move you to Mount Morn. Okay. That's exactly where I wanted to go. Oh, okay. That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> and that's my He was just there. <laughs> there. Um, I'll move to the park and hunt. I'm 
watching your eyes, Chris. Mm-hmm. I am going to play SD card. I'm going to reset my Chupacabra. That's good. And I'm going to go and hunt at Mount Morn. You're just going to hunt to Jason, right? Yes. Yeah. Adjacent. Yes. Uh, <laughs> not more, huh? <laughs> not more and back. Uh-huh. Put the candle back. <laughs> and um, I don't know that I have moved, so I will move to the well. All right. Okay, I'm going to move to the park. I'm going to hunt at the park, but since there's not a card there, I get to play the top card of the Beyond, which is the amazing Slender Man. Good move. (laughs) Uh, To reset another monster so its abilities can be used again. I'm going to choose my Fearsome Phantasm. Uh, after I use Slender Man, it goes to the bottom of the discard pile. So Chris can't use it. Um, I'm going to use the Phantasm again. Move the top card of any location to the top card of another location. I'm going to move... Hmm. Yeah, I think this one. I'm going to move that there. And then I'll take a hunt action. Boom! The voodoo doll. All right, all right, Chris. I see your four. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, hold on, let's see what this dude does. Uh, exchange all cards at one location with all cards at another location. Um, That's a great card. It is. It is. I'm just trying to trying to get inside your head, Chris. That was, are we, that was between you two now? Good. Mm. Good. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell the difference between the both skulls and <laughs> whether you're humanoid or uh, mm. He's doing no. that. I won't be paying attention. I'm going to wait to see what you do on your turn. Okay. Me or him? Him, because right, I, I, I know things. Ew! Ah! Yay! Crud! Alright, got a pharaoh card. Exchange the bottom card at your location with the bottom card at another location. I want to switch the woods to the bottom card of the graveyard. Let me do it for you? Yes, please. There and okay. there. And that's my turn. Yep. Turn him on the side. It's back to Chris. All right, well, I'm going to go over here and hunt, and I'm calling a win. Uh, I'm going to call no. And I'm saying no, because I know it's not. Soon. If it was uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to put it at the bottom of that stack. That's no longer there. All right. And I will pass turn. I am a little perplexed there. <laughs> I'm going to use the Voodoo Doll's ability to exchange all cards at one location with all cards at another location. Get over here! I'm going to hunt. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to put it on the bottom, and then I'm going to move to the swamp. Pass turn. All right. All right. Oh, me. Yeah. I'm going to hunt. Why not? Okay. Oh! It's a, it's a me card. All right. It's a me say you Now we're all even. <laughs> so whoever finds the next one okay. is the winner. As a free action, you may move once or twice. Mm, it can help you get across the board. Yes, yeah, seeing that I'm in the land of empty spots, um, and I haven't moved yet, I'm going to move, so do I get to move three times? If you want. I'm going to move three times. Um, actually, I've only moved twice. One and two. You want to be in the park? I'm going to be in the park. All right. 
and I joined him because he's done. I've already hunted. I've done my moves. Yeah. All right. I'm, Great. I'm good. It's so close game. What do I have here? And I've used all my cards. So. All right. So I'm going to go to the graveyard and hunt using the beyond. And I can move any player to the Mount Morn, which I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. And I can take a peek. And I'll put that right back down. And that goes on the bottom of the discard pile since you used it. Sure does. All right. Nitty gritty, past turn. Okay. I've got three options here. Um, no, I've got two options. Yeah, but I don't. Uh. All right, I don't. I, I don't think I need to be in the swamp. So I want to go back to the park. Wait, how many cards are here? There's three. Okay. I'm going to the park. Uh. Uh. Wait a minute. <laughs> It's maybe a bad move, but it's a free hunt, so I'm going to move myself to the tower and hunt again. <laughs> uh huh. I'll put it back. And I'm done. All right. Move this one and go home. Because. Oh, Bam! You did Woo! it. But did you know that was there? No, know? I had no idea that was there. Is that my card? No, your card is right here. Oh no, your That's card mine. was right here. Ah, dang it! Your card was here. Yes, dang your card it. was here. Because when you, I had put it at the bottom of the graveyard. What card did you put back that you didn't spend? <laughs> uh, I, I was trying to draw you. Over I there. put it at the bottom of the graveyard, and when you move the pile over, it's like yes. So no, I did not know my card was there. All right, well that's it. That's Hunt Master in a nutshell. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Yay, thank, thank you. you. Go Con Carolinas, go Monstor, go Game Brown. Go Chris, right. go April. See you go for our next show. Away. Peace out, people. Thank you. All right. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. Um, congratulations, April. Uh, I knew you had it in you. Uh, it's a great thing. It's a great game. Visit ComicMonstore.com and click on that online store tab if you want to get the game next week we're going to come at you live we're going to be doing a games that become movies and tv shows and part of our guest is going to be uh, uh bill mulligan who's our film track director for con carolinas and uh the lovely rachel lovato will be here and we're each going to pick kind of our our top favorite and the worst one on our list and so if you guys want to play along, um, I cordially invite you guys to pick your favorites and your, your, uh, your bombs. And uh, we'll explore these gems next, uh, next week. And until then, I'm Bronner for Con Carolinas TV. And I'm out. Peace and love. See ya.